Good morning, everyone. This is Shuo Tao. Today, I'm going to present our work on vBase, unifying online ve vector similarity search and the relational queries via relaxed monotonicity. Uh, this work is done by Microsoft Research Asia with teammates from both Beijing and Shanghai offices, together with a great effort from our wonderful university interns. With the rapid advancement of AI technology, especially deep learning, Many unstructured data are represented by high-dimensional vectors because they can better encapsulate the semantic meanings with respect to applications, such as image recognition, text translation, and more. Vectors are believed to be, to be the uh, future universal data representation, which can connect different modalities and domains, and it is possible uh, it will become the foundation of cross-domain innovation in the future. In fact, vectors are already uh, empowering many AI applications today. Examples include Google Vertex AI matching, Amazon OpenSearch, Alibaba OpenSearch, and the latest popular example of ChatGPT retrieval plugins. To manage this large and increasing amount of large-scale vector datasets, ANS have become the go-to system for large-scale vector search queries. Specifically, a vector search query often finds k nearest vectors to a query vector. In reality, exact search has proven to be extremely expensive and unscalable. Therefore, people often resort to approximate search algorithms to sacrifice a little bit of uh, search accuracy for much better um, search performance. And today, approximate nearest neighbor search, or ANNS, is likely to be the only viable solution to serve vector search on large-scale datasets with second latency and a relatively high accuracy. Specifically, these ANN systems provide only one primitive, top K, to find the most uh, similar K vectors, and this has satisfied most application requirements so far. However, as more uh, complex vector analytics query emerge, these uh, ALN top K primitive becomes e uh, insufficient. One of the most common examples is uh, vector scalar hybrid queries. For example, to find four pieces of clothes, most similar to an image, and it's under $200. One could say you can just add a filter after a top K primitive for this query, but number one, they seem to be ad hoc, and the number two, there could be a lot of inefficiency in query processing, because it is hard to know the filter selectivity, therefore uh, the optimal K to produce exact four pieces of clothes is not easy to guess. Uh, of course, there are more types of query scenarios, such as multi-vector search, vector range query, vector join, which are all detailed in section 2.1 of our paper. All in all, our investigation shows that top K ANS primitive is insufficient to support complex vector analytics systematically. So uh, naturally, people would wonder, why not run vector uh, analytics using SQL? First, SQL would be highly expressive, such that the early example of vector scalar hybrid query could be expressed easily, like the statement in the slide. Also, SQL is highly optimized for structured data based on the well-established uh, relational algebra, and it has proven the workhorse for big data for many decades, serving many important scenarios such as transactions, online analytics, and more. However, our investigation shows that running SQL on high-dimensional data, uh, a high-dimensional vector does not work well, and I will show you why. In the world of database, there's a key data structure to speed up query processing, which is called indexing. Classic example uh, of database indices include um, B plus tree, black white tree, and et cetera. One of the key properties these database indices provide is they can enable table scan with strict monotonicity of a column. And this avoid total table, uh, table scan with early termination of the SQL queries. However, indexing for high dimensional vectors are difficult. First, the definition um, of order amongst vectors are empty without a reference point. Therefore, a static index based on vector distances using conventional database indices, such as B-tree, cannot be pre-built. 
As a result, systems often resort to Stroman solutions, which is to build a temporary monotonicity preserving indices uh, using ANN's top K primitive. However, this monotonicity preserving index can only scan up to K items. And it is hard to predict an optimal K to produce required final results. Therefore, this solution is, is inefficient, which needs many runs and many runs of uh, tried and errors of different cases in reality. So let me give you two further reasons why strict monotonicity are hard, are hard to come by for vector indices and why conventional database termination check does not work on vector indices. First, order by vector distances uh, is fundamentally difficult. This is because data retrieval in high dimensional space in the order of these distances to a reference point is expensive with a, with a large vector dimensionality. This is also called the curse of um, high dimensionality. In fact, state-of-art ANS use approximate spatial navigation data structures as indices, which does not produce strict monotonic order of vector distances as the illustration shows. Because vector indices has no strict monotonicity, database's previous assumption on index scan breaks. This means we cannot terminate immediately after we collect K results. In fact, we need to look a little bit more beyond K. Let me illustrate, illustrate why by using the early query example for finding similar codes with price under $200, except uh, the limit is only two in this case. The database table of closed door will have three columns uh, of interest to this query. The first column is ID, since this is the output. The second uh, column is price, since we need to use it to run, uh, run our filter predicate. And the last one is image distance, since we are going to get the two smallest vectors. Please note that the last column is virtual, uh, which uh, is computed on the fly based on the image vector embeddings. Ideally, the vector index scan will guide us to scan the table in the increasing order of vector uh, of, of image distances. Okay, so let's see it work in action. Here, we already collect two viable uh, tuples that pass the filter. Should the index scan has strict monotonicity, we can just stop here because a further investigation won't give us smaller uh, image distances. However, vector index does not have this property and we need to investigate further and update the results. But one would immediately ask, how much further? Do we end up scanning the entire table? That would not go for performance, right? To, so to answer this question, question of how much further, we came up with the notion of relaxed monotonicity for vector indices. Um, this notion of relaxed monotonicity is built based on the two-phase vector index traversal pattern we observe in most ANN systems. Often in the first case, the index traversal seeks a target neighborhood with large distance oscillations. Then in the second phase, it enters a, an approximate monotonic region where it departs from the target neighborhood steadily with some small distance oscillations. In fact, this two-phase behavior of vector index traversal is the underlying reason why well-designed ANN systems work in reality. These systems all terminate index tra traversal only if they enter uh, enters the second phase of the approximate montana region because they can know the further processing will unlikely to give them more viable results. In vBase, we, design, we define this key property of relaxed monotonicity formally which precisely captured the termination condition of many popular vector index designs. And because of the time limitation, I won't go to the nitty gritty and the mass details, which are all laid out in section three of our paper. So we designed and built vBase based on this uh, relaxed monotonicity. First, this allows vBase to unify vector and scalar index scans, specifically relaxed monotonicity I, are used as a pre-check uh, on top of existing database termination check. And we found this unification based on relaxed monotonicity extremely powerful. 
First, it allows high database execution efficiency because one could identify the optimal K on the fly and terminate the query. It also unlocks more valid vector analytic queries that can be efficiently accelerated by the index scan primitive. Last but not least, we also prove uh, formally that VBase produce equivalent result to the top K based solution with the optimal K. The intuition behind it is that relaxed monotonicity is only a re-abstraction of ANN system, which does not alter the index traversal behavior. So we implement VBase using Postgres and get the following evaluation results. First, with relaxed monotonicity, VBase supports a wide range of queries, both on scalar and vector data attributes, which can be accelerated easily accelerated uh, with index scan. For example, we not only support single vector top K queries with various filtering operators, we also support multi-vector top K queries. One of the most interesting examples is that we can even run join operators based on vector distances efficiently using vector distance uh, indices. Second, VBase have superior query processing prof performance. For single vector top K queries uh, with filter uh, predicate, we have around two to 10x speed up over the top K based da database solution with try and errors of different Ks. For multi vector top K queries, which current system do not support, we implement top K based algorithm on top of ANS and show two orders of magnitude speed up. Last but not least, for join queries, VBase has more than three orders of magnitude speed up over the vanilla implementation of PostgreSQL. So this concludes uh, the VBase talk. In this talk, uh, VBase is uh, a built on relaxed monotonicity, a common foundation between conventional uh, and the high dimensional vector indices, and the VBase significantly significantly outperforming state-of-art vector systems on supporting and processing complex vector queries. And in this talk, I only scratch the surface of VBase, and if you are interested, there is much more details in our paper. We are also going to open source a VBase under the name of MS VBase, and please stay tuned. And our team also have invested many research efforts in vector systems. Uh, ANNs in particular, if you are interested, there's also a link included in the slides. Thank you. <laughs>